Okay, part one of five external and internal fertilization, reproduction, invertebrates, life sciences, grade 12. What is fertilization? Fertilization is when a male gamete fuses with a female gamete to form a zygote. A male gamete is called sperm and a female gamete is called ovum. The other name for ovum is simply egg cell. Okay. And the plural for ovum is ova. Okay. Ova. Like this. The zygote develops into an embryo and so on. So the fusion of the male gamete and the female gamete give rise to a zygote. And the zygote develops into an embryo and so on. The purpose of fertilization. Okay. The purpose of fertilization is for all living organisms to reproduce themselves. And the types of fertilization, we have two types of fertilization, external fertilization and internal fertilization. Let's start with external fertilization. Okay, external fertilization takes place outside of the female's body and you find external fertilization in some fish, frogs and some other animals. External fertilization takes place in water or moist places. Water prevents the gametes from drying out. The eggs that are laid in water have got a very soft shell. This is an adaptation to water. Unlike the ones that are laid on land, they've got a solid shell to prevent drying out of the eggs. In these pictures, you can see examples of external fertilization. Okay, you have the female fish releasing the eggs and you have the male fish spreading the sperm over okay and in this picture you have the male frog and the female frog the male frog on the back of the female frog the reason why the male frog is on the back of the female frog is to make sure that the gametes are deposited in the same place this is to increase the chances of fertilization okay so there is actually no penetration of the sex organs okay so these are two examples of external fertilization okay and in external fertilization you have many gametes are produced okay the male and female gametes many gametes are produced hence many offspring are produced okay when many gametes are produced you are going to have many offspring okay so these animals they produce many gametes in order to increase the chances of fertilization because these gametes are exposed to environmental conditions they are exposed to predators so for them to increase the chances of fertilization they have to produce many of them okay so this is the reason why they produce many gametes it is in order to increase the chances of fertilization in external fertilization you have the offspring are independent of their parent okay they don't depend on their parent once they are born or once they have hatched they can move on their own they can feed themselves okay so they don't depend fully on their parent and the advantage of external fertilization is penetration of sex organs is not required hence less energy or no energy required okay this is an advantage of external fertilization and the disadvantage is less chances of fertilization to occur and predators play a role in reducing the number of surviving offspring okay for that reason these animals that have got external fertilization produce many gametes so that they can increase the chances of fertilization now internal fertilization okay internal fertilization takes place inside of the female's body you find internal fertilization in reptiles birds and mammals what is the definition of a reptile a reptile is a vertebrate animal of a class that includes snakes lizards crocodiles turtles and tortoises and what is the definition of mammal a mammal is any vertebrate animal of which the female feeds a young on milk from a own mammary gland. Okay, let's carry on with internal fertilization. Okay, in internal fertilization, you have the sperm 
are released directly into the female's body. Okay, for example, you can see the sperm are released directly into the female's body. You can see that a cock releasing the sperm inside the end. And in figure number two, you have a pregnant female cow. Okay, this is the result of sperm being released directly into the female's body. So the male deposited the sperm into this female. And as a result, you have a pregnant female cow. Okay, and figure number three, you have this, a pregnant female elephant. And this is the result of the male releasing the sperm directly into the female's body. And you have this, you have a female lizard laying eggs. The male lizard released the sperm inside the female lizard. As a result, now you have the production of the eggs. Okay, so all these are examples of internal fertilization. So internal fertilization is generally found on terrestrial animals, but you can also find internal fertilization in aquatic animals like crocodiles, turtles, you also find internal fertilization in them. Okay, crocodiles, turtles, and many other animals. Okay, so internal fertilization is not only limited to terrestrial animals. Animals that live on land, you also find internal fertilization in animals that live in water, aquatic animals. Okay, let's carry on. The developing embryo remains inside the female's body with the placenta or inside an amniotic egg. Fewer gametes are produced, hence fewer offspring are produced. Okay, when you have fewer gametes produced, you are going to have fewer offspring produced. Okay, the reason why you have fewer gametes produced is that you have higher chances of fertilization in internal fertilization. This is why you have fewer gametes produced, okay? And in internal fertilization, you can have offspring that are independent or dependent of their parent. Now, the advantage of internal fertilization is that you have higher chances of fertilization to occur because the sperm are released directly into the female's body. And the disadvantage is that Penetration of sex organs is required for copulation, hence more energy is needed. Okay, and we are done with part 1 of 5 on reproduction in vertebrates. Until next time, I will talk to you soon.